Hello, my beautiful Virgos. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerSend.com, here to bring you your monthly love forecast for August. Do they miss me? Uh, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, JenniferWalkerSend.com, or check out the description box below. So what are we gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about the overall situation, okay? Do they miss you? What are their feelings? Will you hear from them again? Uh, excuse me, why are they silent? And will you hear from them again? And some advice. So speak with me to the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so do my Virgos love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. Do my Virgos love interest miss them in the month of August? What kind of cards I need to see? What cards I need to see? Do my Virgos love interest? Miss them in the month of August. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, one more here. Do my Virgos love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Do my Virgos love interest? Miss them in the month of August. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay. So let's see. In the current situation, wow, there's love here. Uh, there's a sense of love here and romance here with the King of Cups energy and there is a person that wants to be wise in that decision making when it comes to love and romance, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There's a sense of healing and recovery here with the tree card in the current situation. So there's love, there's romance and wise decisions being made here and a sense of healing and recovery here with the tree card energy. So we see that there's some changes happening with the five card energy because of wisdom here with the king card energy. The blockage seems to be, uh, there's a person that still thinks that there's something that's not ideal about the situation with the Magician card energy, or there's a sense that, you know what, I don't have all the tools that I need here with the Magician card energy. And it's because of a particular person. So there's a sense that this particular person or something to do with a person that could be causing some kind of blockage because it's something to do with an ideal situation or not having a sense that they have all the tools that they need here. Two plus nine is 10, 11, because a choice needs to be made. So we see that the numerology of this is saying that some kind of choice needs to be made, which is causing some blockages here. At the foundation of the matter, we have the Six of Swords energy. So it does look like there's some moving past challenges and moving into calmer waters and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here with the Six of Swords energy. And it's because of some kind of decision or there's a sense that something was cut away or cut out. So some kind of abrupt decisions are being made here. Uh, there still seems to be some moving towards, um, you know, calmer waters, even though there's still some challenges to be overcome here. There's still some things coming to a completion around healing, recovery, and love with the six card energy and the 10 card energy. In the past, there was this patient energy going on because something wasn't quite balanced. Maybe if somebody was emotionally still kind of out of balance there with the temperance card energy. Uh, and the reason why is because there was a sense that something was dishonest or sneaky in some way with the box card energy. So someone had a sense that something was sneaky or deceptive or somebody wasn't being honest about wanting to be patient because they wanted things to come into balance there with the temperance card energy. There were still some challenges or changes that had to happen and there was a patient energy here in the past. At the head of the matter, the death card energy shows me possibly dealing with the Scorpio energy or there's something to do with um, some kind of change or transformation here, right? Something ending to start something new here with the death card energy. Uh, because of a letter, a message, so there's still some uh, endings, stoppings, or completions when it comes to a letter, a message, or a document here at the head of the matter. So if we look here, uh, there was there's something to do with this letter, message, or document, and something that was cut away or cut out. Okay, so some kind of communication was cut away or cut out or something to do with some written form that was cut away or cut out. And why? Because in the past there was something that was deceptive or sneaky, possibly because of a particular person. And it does look like in the current there's some healing and recovery happening. If we look at the number of this card at the head of the matter, two plus seven is eight, nine. There is somebody who wants to fulfill their wishes here, but there's something that ended or stopped, or there's a sense that there's a person that wants something to end, stop, or change here with the death card energy. In the near future, we got the Queen of Pentacles energy. So it's a very nurturing uh, kind of energy there. 
It's also the energy of patience because uh, there's a person that's trying to figure out what they want on the long-term basis, what's gonna be the best bet for me on the long-term basis, pertaining to happiness here with the Sun card energy. So with the current, obviously we're doing it for August, so coming up, there's a person that's like, all right, what am I gonna do here? What's gonna be the best bet for me? What's gonna make me happy here with the Sun card energy? Four is about stability and stableness and structuring things in a certain way and being patient about that. So let's see how, um, if this person misses you. Oh my goodness, there is so much hurt and pain here with the Ten of Swords energy. Look at that. They're definitely hurting here, the Ten of Swords energy. And wanting some kind of fresh start and new opportunity with the Child card energy. There is a sense of loss here with you, okay? So obviously when you have a sense of loss with the Ten of Swords energy, that is a sense that someone's missing someone. They have this sense of loss and they want this new opportunity, they want a fresh start here with the child card energy. Four is about stability and stableness and 10 is some kind of completion. Mm. Yes, wow, this person looks really wounded. Okay, let's see how they feel about you. They feel that you're in control here with the Emperor card energy. Um, so they, they have a sense that you're in control, that you're in charge, you like things structured and organized in a certain way and they have attraction towards you because we have the bouquet card energy. So they are attracted to you. Bouquet card is like the queen of wands energy. It's like attraction and sexiness, you know? So they do have this attraction towards you and they, they like the fact that you are in control. You're in charge here with the emperor card energy. So let's see why, and we can look at the numbers of this too. Uh, nine, you fulfill their wishes. Obviously the emperor card energy is a four card energy pertaining to stability, stableness. So there's a sense that you're very stable, you're very much in control. There is attraction here with the bouquet card. You know, also the bouquet card is a gift, a gift of value, okay? Uh, so they, they see you as somebody is very valuable to them. So, um, wow, Whew. why are they not speaking? We have the lover's card. Uh, Twin flame soulmate card energy. Um, Someone needs to make, they need to make a choice with the heart or something to do with making a choice with the heart and some kind of movement or change here. And for some of you, there could be some kind of long distance relationship, something foreign or something to do with travel there. So there needs to be a choice, obviously, because your lover's card is about choices to um, have some kind of change or movement. So things need to change. That There's a sense of something needs to change because of a choice that needs to be made with the heart. So that's why they're not speaking. They need to make a choice. And obviously we come back to this and was saying that there was something to do with the choice. There's a sense within them that there's not an ideal situation or something about them not having all the tools that they need. The ship card can represent travel. It can represent foreign. It can represent change or movement because of some kind of choice with the heart. Okay, so that's why they're not speaking. So let us find out if you guys will speak in the month of August. All right. We have the Five of Pentacles energy. I'm gonna lay them all down first. We have the High Priestess card energy, and we have the Six of Pentacles energy. So with the Five of Pentacles energy, there seems to be some kind of sense of loss here, or there's a person that's being left out in the cold because um, there's a person, High Priestess reminds me of the Book card energy. Something yet to be known. There's a person that's trying to gain some kind of knowledge if something is going to be an equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles energy. So there's a person that's feeling a sense of loss because they need to gain some kind of knowledge about whether or not there is going to be an equal situation going on, Six of Pentacles energy. I would have to say, uh, just because of the cards, they're not overly positive, so I, I don't feel like it's leaning towards the yes here. I feel it's more leaning towards the no at this point, at this at this time. I'm just saying at this time. Obviously, things are starting to clear away within this situation with you and this person, but I would just say no at this time, because five represents some kind of challenge or change, challenges pertaining to healing, recovery, and love with the six card energy because of some unknowns with the high priestess card energy. So let's see what your advice is. All right, so the devil card energy. All right, don't feel uh, uh, bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination about the situation. Six of Cups shows me something to do with the reconciliation, healing, and recovery, or something to do with uh, reminiscing about the past. 
don't have a sense of loss or don't feel a lot of regret about the past. I feel that Spirit is saying with the Six of Cups energy being here, that it's saying you're gonna have a reconciliation, okay, at some point here. But it's like, don't focus on, you know, uh, depression. Uh, don't focus on the, the challenges here around the situation. Focus on the reconciliation, the healing here with the Six of Cups energy. Don't focus on what was lost here with the Five of Cups energy, all right? Uh, it's your, you're focusing on changing the situation, on focusing on healing, recovery, and love. That's what the focus should be here at this time, okay? There's no point in looking at the past and having this regret here with the Five of Cups energy. Okay. All right, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I will be releasing uh, weeklies in the next couple days, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much and try to have a great rest of your month, okay?